Could we not have spared ourselves the mountain crossing by landing further north? In clear view of the bay. probably doesn't know where I am. On evening tides, does morning's light return? Open the gates! The tributary is home! Of that dog? All right now, back to your duties. You'll have to forgive my people their curiosity. We don't get many visitors. Or any, truth be told. Then we are honored to be the first. This is quite extraordinary. Like stepping into another world. So do you believe me now? You've made it difficult not to, my lady. But how did your people chance to settle here, in the north? Unless I am much mistaken, the moats of water long called the coasts of Southern Ash their home. Until Drake's horn fell and the blight forced them ever inland, where... We met our doom, along with our dominant. I see you've read the Gregorian Church's account, but perhaps you'd like to hear ours. That building over there is the Witten Hall. It's where my people gather to discuss matters of import. We can speak more inside, once the place is ready to receive you. It shouldn't take long, but you're welcome to explore the village while I see to things. Thank you. We'll do just that. Them then. Don't look like much if you ask me. Suddenly, there were curls everywhere I looked. Did you hear that, girl? You're going with Father today. Please 
Grandad. Tell us another story about the witch. Welcome to Haven. The tributary awaits you within the Witten Hall. So what do you think of our little haven in the woods? It might not have all the comforts of a southern settlement, but at least it's ours. And there's a lot to be said for that. It can't have been easy keeping this place a secret. Not easy, no. We've dedicated our lives to maintaining the glamour that conceals us. Us, and Walius. This man, Walius, is he Leviathan's dominant? That's right. Though he's no man, Walius is still a baby. A baby? <sighs> Forgive me, but you said that the Dominant and his Icon were bound inside the Surge almost a century ago. That would surely make him older still. It would, if he'd been allowed to age. But the spell robbed the poor bairn of even that. I'm sorry. Walius was the son of my great-grandfather. Leviathan awoke within him almost immediately, but instead of allowing the lad to live out his life as a valued member of the community, my ancestors sought to put his power to other uses. Sadly for them, the Icon sensed their treachery and summoned a wave so large it would have swallowed the entire village if my ancestors hadn't stopped him. Then it is not the surge that binds the child, but time itself. Yes. Forgive me. I'm still not sure I understand. I'm not surprised. It isn't the easiest thing to explain. Which is why it might be better if I took you to see him. Show you exactly what he has to endure. That is why we came. Then let us be off. There's a road that leads north from the village. It'll take us right into the surge. Are you bound for the wave, tributary? We are, Delina. Have you spread the word about our guests? I have. Everyone knows to treat them as family. You shouldn't have any trouble now, but just in case, I would have you accept this symbol of our people. That's very kind. I look forward to meeting the family. The feeling's mutual. Should the tributary be indisposed, feel free to ask me any questions you might have regarding the village, and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you. We will. Then I bid you good tide. Our storehouse lies across the bridge. If you're short of supplies, you may find what you need there though we will have to ask you for recompense, poor as we are. Stay away from that temple. I give you my grain. 
You give me your ex. Where have Oh, I'll have her hide when she gets back. Oh, sorry. I was legs away. How can I help you? If you're after something from the storehouse, it's actually my wife you'll want to talk to. She will have to charge you for the goods, though. Not that would fleece you or anything. It's just, you know, needs must. I understand. Saying that, she might not be able to get anything down for you for a bit. Ah, oh, right. She's got her hands full with the inventory, you see. It should have been my daughter's job, really, but the willful little rills decided to make herself scarce. Ah, the heavens only know where that girl's got to. If you'd like me to keep an eye out for her. Oh, no. I couldn't ask that of an outsider. Could I? You wouldn't mind? Of course not. She won't have gone far, will she? I hope not. But I've scoured the entire village for her and come up empty-handed. <laughs> Can't help thinking she might have gone on another one of her little adventures. Ah, a free spirit, is she? Aye, that she is. Can't get her to sit still, especially once you heard you lot were on your way. Outsiders! You should have seen her little eyes light up. Oh, if she wanted to watch you arrive, she'd have made for the low gate where you first came in. The guard there might have spotted her. Maybe you could ask him. Uh, Ruka, her name is. All right. I'll let you know if I find her. Try not to worry. Sisters. Excuse me. You haven't seen the storekeeper's daughter, have you? Little Ruka? I have, as it happens. She went out through the gate not long ago. Out of the village? Alone? Aye. She does it all the time. There's a path off to the left which leads down to the river. Nice little spot, that. And safe as you like. The beasts of the mountain don't dare come so close to the village. That's where she'll be. Go and have a look if you don't believe me. I will. This must be the path. for you. You left without telling him where you were going. He was worried. But I went to look for you. Well, now you found me. What do you say we head back to the village and let your father know you're safe? All right. And on the way home, you can tell me all about the world beyond the wall. I want to know everything. <laughs> everything might be a stretch. Thank you for bringing her home, and uh, sorry for the trouble. Oh, no. It was a pleasure. Daddy, 
Did you know that there are villages ten times as big as Haven in the outside world? Ten times! Cities, they call them. And in these cities, they have great big walls and towers and castles. Oh, <laughs> to think I was worried. You can tell me all about the outside world later, sweet pea. Now go and help your mum with the stores. All right. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with her questions. She uh, has a lot of them. One of the big ones being, what are the people beyond the wall like? Reckon you've made a good first impression. Are we the only ones she's ever met? That you are. The rest of the world can't know we're here. So we'll have to be very careful who we're letting in and out. A few of us might make the occasional trip to shore for supplies, but for the most part, we'll make do with what we've got. Including what the old northern has left us. Yes. He built on top of the old ruins, didn't you? Well, they make for fine foundations. Their masons clearly knew what they were doing. That's one thing we don't have to worry about. <laughs> oh, it's everything else that's the problem. Medicines, metals for tool making, anything like that. We have to dress up as traveling merchants and make a trip to the outside and pray to every cloud in the heavens that nobody sees through us. Uh, which explains why you need Gil. Aye. And now Rook is back, my wife should be free to assist you with any potential purchases. So please, do make good use of our stores, because we fully intend to make good use of your coin. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep my purse strings loose. Bringing me daughter back. I don't grudge her looking for adventure, but she's got to pull away like the rest of us. Anyway, now we've got the inventory done, I can attend to my own tasks, like seeing to our visitors' needs. So, where's the route you wanted? I will have to charge you. May it serve you well. Well, uh, if you're sure you need it. Here you are. May it serve you well. Well, uh, if you're sure you need it. I'll be here. What do you think the tributary sees in those outsiders? Enough to welcome them into our midst. And so we must do the same. Uh, Sid! You are Sid, aren't you? The man the tributary told us about? I wonder if you could help me. With what, exactly? Oh, nothing too troublesome. Do you know my husband, Pavart? He's the village smith, among, among other things. Anyway, his name day is not far off, and I wanted to make a gift for him. He's a craftsman, you see, and he's been fretting about running low on the flowers he uses for dye-making, so I wondered if you might collect some for me and give them to him. Uh... Would this gift not be better coming from you? Perhaps, but it can't, for reasons I can't go into. Please, I know it sounds daft, but I'd be ever so grateful. Fine. Which flowers does your husband need? The sweet little blue ones that grow around the fount. Elder's blessings, they're called. 
We use them to dye our fabrics so we always feel close to water like they are. You don't need to go to the trouble of picking them yourself, though. Just speak to the field hands and ask them to share their harvest with you. Two basketfuls should be enough for my husband to be getting on with. Two basketfuls it is. Excuse me. I wonder, might you be able to spare a basket of Elder's blessings? Pavard's wife tasked me with collecting some for her husband and suggested that I speak to you. Ah. Werder wants you to bless her better half with the fruits of our labor, does she? Go on then. Give the old fool something to squirm about. I'm sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. An old fool Pavart may be, but if you come bearing gifts, he's not fool enough to turn you away. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Ah, welcome to Haven, friend. Thank you. Forgive my presumptuousness, but the smith's wife has asked me to make her husband a present of some elder's blessings. Two basketfuls, to be precise. Well, I have one, if that's any help. It is. I'm much obliged. They really are beautiful. Aren't they just? Though, that's not the only reason they have a special place in our hearts. Legend has it that when our people fled from Ash, the tributary of the time took some seeds with them. And as they wandered high and low across the twins, he'd plant them wherever they stopped for water. Every elder since has done the same. So when we finally put down roots here in Mesidia, the flowers did too. Well, that's two basketfuls. Time to visit Pavart. What do you want? Your wife asked me to bring you these flowers. <sighs> that woman. Come out, I know you're there. H who? Me? Would either of you care to explain what's going on? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. It's just, my husband can be a bit standoffish at times, and I thought this might be a good way for the two of you to get acquainted. What with you being a swordsman like, and him being the only smith in the village? It'd be a shame if you couldn't turn to him for help. The only reason he couldn't turn to me for help is because I had my hands full with all the orders you lot dumped on me. I'm pretty much done with them now, though. But, for the record, the tributary said that we were to lend you outsiders our aid, and that's exactly what I was planning to do. With or without my darling wife's meddling. Still, here we are. Acquainted. So, if there's out you need, just bring us the materials, all right? All right. 
All right, then. And tar for the flowers. I was running low. You use them for dyeing, I hear. Aye. Crush the petals and it makes a fine and lasting blue. We use it to stain the cloth for our tunics and pennons. To remind us where we come from, like. As moats of water. Children of the sea. That's right. The pattern, too, was left by our ancestors. The ceaseless rill, it's called. It symbolizes the river of our tribe, with the strength of Leviathan running through it. And no matter how that river has ebbed and flowed, changed its course, the flowers have always been with us, growing on our banks. <clears throat> I should get back to work. If you need something crafting, let me know. I will. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Wasn't it just? Yes? Better than you. Done. Better than you. I need more than that. How long do you think this will be? There's a pair of ships just up ahead. Ships? But are we not still leagues from the shore? The quickest route to the surge is due east, past the second galley. Shula, how did these ships come to be here? What do you imagine happens when an icon of water gets angry? Really, brother, did you have to ask?
creatures consumed by their hatred for everyone and everything. Everything, save sharp knives, it seems. not far now. How will we reach the surge? We'll follow the coastline north. There's a bridge that'll take us across to the Cape.
Might I inquire about the Ray of Light? It's what prevents the Surge from being reclaimed by the sea. And Wallius by his people. You said before that the child is bound within the Surge. But you've yet to tell us how we're meant to reach him. I trust we won't have to hold our breath. No. The Surge wraps around the Cape without engulfing it. If we continue to its tip, there is a path down to the seabed. And the wave's origin. All right. It won't be the first dominant we've met at the bottom of the ocean.